Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop somewhere uh, in Arkansas, where on September 3rd, 2023, a sovereign citizen was pulled over and, well, it didn't ended up doing something really stupid by not cooperating with the police officer and ended up getting arrested. And he ended up saying a whole lot of stupid things in the back of the uh, squad car. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, man? Got to take police and stop. You weren't wearing your seatbelt when you come by me? Yes, sir. I, was, I had it. That's over my shoulder. That's what I was adjusting this thing here, sir. Oh, you didn't. Listen, you didn't have it on when you come by me, okay? Also, you have a brake light out on the driver's side. Yes, sir. And then your tag has a thing around it that obscures where your state and stuff is. You can't even see your tag. Okay, it's Illinois. Okay. Do you have your driver's license, please? No, sir, I don't. Do you have a license? Yes, sir, I do. Where's the out at? Which still means that you are sovereign, sis, and I mean, the uh, terms are essentially interchangeable. You a state, national, sovereign citizen, you both have the same arguments, you both act the same way, you're essentially uh, a sovereign citizen, but with a uh, much nicer sounding ne uh, name to it, but still the exact same thing. So please continue on. Yeah, no. They wear me out. Yeah, you're a what? I'm a state national, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. You have a Louisiana driver's license? Yes, sir. What, I did. What do you have now? I have a United States state national. Okay, there is no United States national. Either you have a license for a state that you reside in, yes, sir. or you do not. So which one is it? Well, given that he has swallowed the uh, sovereign citizen, oh, excuse me, it's U.S. state national rhetoric, I would say that he has a fraudulent driver's license at this particular time, which is totally worthless because, yeah, it is fraudulent. It doesn't exist in the United States as an official document. I'm not answering your questions, sir. You're not going to answer my questions? Okay. Not that one. Come on back here. I'm not asking, I'm telling you. Come on back here. No need to be ugly. I'm not being ugly. ugly. But we're beyond the whole asking and being nice. Okay, Come on back right. here. Turn around, put your hands on the car for me. Am I under arrest? Step back, spread your feet. Am I under arrest? You are, spread your feet. For what, sir? No driver's license, no seat belt. Okay. For your tag being obscured and for your busted light. Dude, ignorance of the law is no bloody excuse. You should have looked up the laws of any state and seen that even in Arkansas, which is a state you're passing through, you must have a driver's license and you can go to jail for not having one because it is the law to possess a driver's license while you're operating a motor vehicle on the public highways. And guess what? The Tenth Amendment says that the states have the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. But if you think this uh, example of stupidity is all there is in this video, no, wait, 
there are more examples of stupidity that will be coming out of his, his mouth throughout this video. So stick around and find out. You can go to jail for anything in this day, United States, man. You should know that. You're national, remember? Where are you from? Are you from Louisiana? Are you going to Miranda rise me, sir? For what? You haven't committed a felony. You don't get Miranda rise. Okay. Come on back here. If I do a custodial interrogation based on a felony, based and you a might felony. you might uh, incriminate yourself, then I would read you Miranda rights. But you're not being read, Miranda. So have a seat. Hold on. Who are you? Hold on. Anything in your pocket's gonna call me cut me stick nose. Anything illegal on you or in that vehicle? Anything illegal on you or in that vehicle? Well, at this point, he calls in the license plate number to HQ. Then he goes to talk to the passenger to see if they at least have a uh, driver's license that's uh, readily available. So let's continue on, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi. Do you have your ID with you? Hi, puppy. Does he have a driver's license? I think he does. From where? It would be Louisiana, I'm sure. Well, why has he got to act that way? Honey, I have... I'm sorry. I'm from oh, You can call me, honey. It's all good. We're oh. from the South. We do that, too. <laughs> I've been in the South for a What's while. What's up, man? You have ID with you? Hey, can you talk to me? Can I say it? Of course. I'm asking. I'm just asking if I can say it. I don't have it on me, no. That's fine. What's your name? Do you mind me asking? Tell me why. Because I want to, because I want to ask, because it's my right to ask. Well, that's fine. Don't answer the question. I mean, I'm sure the female passenger will be able to ask, answer the question, and she can drive the vehicle home from this point on. Meanwhile, your friend is going to be locked up for a while because, well, he refused to present his ID according to uh, Arkansas law at a traffic stop, so he's going to be paying the price for that. It is your right to say no. You're 100% right. Nice to meet you, though. My name's Jimmy. It is. It is yours. I already got my insurance right there. Okay. And then, well, that's my... Is this register. your car? Yes. Where y'all from? I'm from Illinois. What brings you down here? My friend Patsy lives down here. Okay. You know the Stricklands? I do not. Charles and... Okay. I don't know. What's his name? His name? No, no. The guy I haven't called. I don't care about him. He don't want to talk to me. He don't have to. That's his constitutional right. Is he right. not tell, talking no, to me? No, he don't want to talk to me. Neither one of them? So he's going to sit in jail until he tells me who he is. Mm. Welcome to Calhoun County. All right, I'm going to make sure your license is valid. If it's valid, we're going to let you drive the car and you can be on your way. Be right back with you. Well, the officer goes back to his vehicle to check to see if the license is valid. But but this is where the uh, man he's got in the back of the vehicle has, opens his mouth and uh, says a lot more stupid stuff. In fact, I wonder how highly educated he is based upon what he says here. Try to take a guess in the comments. Five minutes later. You took an oath of office? What? Did you take an oath of office, sir? I did. You swore to obey the Constitution? I swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States and uphold the state of Arkansas laws, which you are violating right now. Are you aware of what the fourth constitutional law is? What is it? Won't you educate me? Since you seem to know all your rights. A man is right to pursue freedom and happiness? Uh, no, that is not found in the Constitution. That is found in the Declaration of Independence, which is a document, well, actually a letter, that was addressed to King George III and was basically telling him to kick rocks and we declare ourselves a nation unto ourselves and we are independent of you. What uh, you are trying to think of is the Fourth Amendment, which is about uh, being secure in your papers uh, from uh, unreasonable searches and seizures. It doesn't say 
You're not supposed to be left alone. Because if it said that, then I guess we wouldn't have uh, any of the other amendments regarding due process, dude. Oh, by the way, this uh, picture here is from the movie The Madness of King George. It is an outstanding movie if you like historical documentaries. It is based upon the uh, historical accounts that uh, King George III had was suffering from a genetic condition called prophyria, and this movie is basically about his descent into madness after the loss of the colonies. So, if you enjoy that kind of thing, it's available to watch. Sounds like a movie quote. A movie is quote? that the one that old Will Smith played in? Man, come on, man. Man, come right on, man. Don't give me that crap. Long. You know what you're doing is wrong. And, and yet, here you are. Really? Here you okay. are. I just asked you a question if you took it up. This is the Fourth Amendment. Let violation. me ask you a question. You gonna tell me your name? Nope. So you understand, if you don't identify That's yourself, fine. you're gonna sit in jail until you do, right? That's fine. Okay. All right, you and I have nothing else to discuss, okay? Okay. I won't be making a claim against your bond. You and I okay. have nothing else to discuss. Okay. Many, many minutes later. So what's your reasonable articulate suspicion that I'm committed to crime? I guess the lead paint has rotted your brain away because He's told you that already. Your license plate was obscured. He tried to get you to identify yourself because this is a traffic stop and you've got to identify yourself at a traffic stop in Arkansas. And therefore, you got taken in. So, that is the RAS right there. Deal with it. 15 minutes later. Use of emergency lighting in a non-emergency situation. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? You and I have nothing to say. Sit in the back seat and keep your mouth shut. The use of emergency lights in a non-emergency situation is a felony. Where the hell did you get that bullshit from? I mean, I know sovereign citizens try to use it, but it is a bunch of nonsense, and some of them even claim the Supreme Court ruled on that, which I would like to see the citation on your particular form of BS anyway, because that's all it is, is BS, and I know you can't back it up. Five minutes later. All right, Miss Vicky, are you moving down here to stay? I am, but okay. not How yet. long have you been here? Off and on for about a year. Where are you living at right now? Right this very minute. Mm -hmm. I live in all in uh, Bethalto, Illinois, 159. Okay. How long have you been here in Arkansas. I've been staying here. Let's see. I've been back here two weeks now. Two weeks. All right. If you're making a permanent residence here, you need to transfer your license plate and your driver's license to Arkansas. Okay. All right. You're running out of time to do something. Make sure you do that. I got to do it how soon? I think it's within 10 days of moving. Okay. Well, I haven't decided I'm moving yet. Okay. Well, you can, once you start spending a month or two months down here and you're... Is he done? I'm not talking to him. You can take him off speaker. He's on. <laughs> All right. Going back and forth or whatever. Yeah, that's. I know. Oh okay, my goodness. Goodbye. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Once you start staying down here. Yeah. Once you start staying several weeks at a time, this becomes your residence. It's no longer just a vacation type thing. You're now living down here. You see what I'm saying? So you need to get your stuff transferred over. Now, if you're going back to Illinois in a week, you don't have to worry about it. But you're going to be here another two or three or four weeks. Uh, your permanent back. residence becomes Arkansas. So you I'm need to change not, that. I'm not going back in a week. I'm probably going back in two weeks, but not a week. Okay. All right. So you and I have had this discussion. Right. And you've been made aware. Yeah. Okay. So if I see you again 60 days or 30 days from now and you haven't transferred that stuff over, it's going to be a ticket, okay? I'm just letting you know that. But wait a minute. So then how do I go back to Illinois and come back and back and forth? All Are you back and forth and back and forth and yes, back and forth? Yes, 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 yes. How often? I've been up there, let's see. Uh, went up there August. Let me ask you this. Where do you, where do you spend most of your time? If you divide your year into six months times, which one comes out ahead, Arkansas or Illinois? Well, I've spent two months in uh, Louisiana. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of like... Kind of just everywhere? Yeah. Okay. Well, my advice is to pick somewhere and, and make that your permanent residence and try to spend more of your year there than you do somewhere else. Okay? See what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Because right. if not, it's going to end up... All I don't, my mail and everything goes That's here. fine. I don't want you to end up in a bind. Okay? You see okay. what I'm saying? All right. Now, I don't know if he has a license or not since he won't talk to me. Okay? Once I find out who he is, 
And if he doesn't have a license, if he's caught driving again, I'm going to tow your car. You understand oh, that? My car? It's your car, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. So if he doesn't have a license and he's driving your car, so I'm going to tow your car. If you give him, if he gives you his name. It's not helping him today. He's going to jail regardless. Okay. But I will know who he is this afternoon. So if he does not have a license and he's caught driving your car. Well, your he car, ain't driving my car no more. I don't know if he, you I'm know. just letting you know. Okay. All right. Not only, like, not only will your car be towed, but you'll be issued a citation for allowing him to drive. You see what I'm saying? Well, All not right. that so I don't know let, if he doesn't have a license. Don't let him drive. It's your responsibility to know who, who's, who has a license if you're driving your car. Okay. All right. So the I've best way to. Ticket. If you look at my I'm note. not writing you one today. All right. Okay. But just to alleviate any issues, if you don't know if they got a license, don't let them drive your car. Because they're not going to be covered under your insurance. You have a wreck, you're, you're responsible for it, not them. All right? Thank you. He'll be at Calhoun County Sheriff's Office. He'll get out at some point. Probably won't be today. He's Where adamant is he that? don't want to talk. Where is that? In Hampton, down by the Dollar General. Oh. Just turn left by the Dollar General, take that half oh, mile road down there. I can't get him out. I don't have enough money. He ain't getting out today anymore. He don't want to talk. He don't want to cooperate. He's going to sit there until he tells me who he is or I find out who he is. So. All right. Appreciate you. All right. Well, now, stupid is as stupid does. This guy sure as hell didn't want to identify, and look what happened to him. Meanwhile, the owner of the vehicle, who obviously had a valid driver's license and was more than willing to at least cooperate with the officer, was let go with a warning. So this is really a lesson in uh, your demeanor when it comes to dealing with the police officers. If you act like a complete human being, you're going to be treated like one. If you like, act like an asshole, then you're going to be treated like a criminal. So choose how you want to go out. Do you want to be arrested and go to jail and get that on your record? Or do you just want to be let go and left alone? I mean, that is really your choice right there. Which I mean in this particular scenario anyway, because every scenario is different. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.